theater tonight, man. He was at the box office. How much to get in? How much? Wow. That's a lot of money. I tell you what. I've got this goat. We can't help being cheap, man. It's in our blood. When my dad first moved to Canada, he couldn't get his head around the idea that he had to pay the price for whatever he saw. He's trying to bargain everywhere he goes. He'd pull up for gas in the early 70s, man. It was like 30 cents a liter my dad would pull up. Hello, my friend. <laughs> Listen, I see it says 30 cents a liter. I'll give you 28. Come on. <laughs> I'm in the back. I'm like, Dad, please just pay whatever it says. Shut your mouth! You learn how to bargain. I'm sorry, my son is an idiot. My friend, the guy down the road said he'd give it to me for 28 cents. But I like you. I want to give you the business. I'm in the back, please dad, just pay whatever it says. Shut up or I'll beat you. Somebody going to get a hurt real bad. But you got to go out there, man. Get around the world, see stuff. I went to South Africa. You know what freaked me out? There's Indian people there. Not one or two, millions of us. Millions of Indians. And they've been there for like seven, eight generations. And you know what the messed up part is for my people over there? They were taken to South Africa as slaves. <laughs> Who the hell uses an Indian as a slave? We don't make good slaves. Do I look ready to do hard labor right now? No. We don't do hard. We'll give a calculator. We'll do your taxes. You know what I mean? We don't. Can you imagine? Oh, it's horrible. You imagine how upset the first slave owners were? <laughs> All right, Raj, here's what you're going to do. Get in that field and pick that cotton. No. <laughs> no. I can't do that. This is not good. No. Let me tell you what we'll do. You pick the cotton. Okay? And I will get the t-shirts made. And together we can wholesale it. Indian people all over the world, man. You travel around the world, that's what you'll find. You'll find Indian people anywhere in the world, man. I think in the 1800s, that was our biggest export. <laughs> Indians. It's like we were doing inventory, like, oh my God, we have way too many people. <laughs> Quick, you get on that boat, you go to Guyana, you go to Trinidad, you go to East Africa. We'll all meet in North America. <laughs> it doesn't affect me, I got bigger things to worry about. I got to worry about arranged marriages. You know what I mean? It's going to be out of control when they got same-sex arranged marriages. That's when it's going to be out of control. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, the Patel family figures out their son's gay at a young age. We must find him a nice boy. Someone who dresses well. My parents tried that on me, man. It's a big problem in our community. My parents tried to get me an arranged marriage. My mom came to me last year. She goes, Russell. You're getting older, and you're not married. What if I bring some nice girls home for you and you see what they're like? I go, I bring nice girls home all the time, you know. They, they just leave in the morning, you know. That's, that's, a, that's a nice girl, you know. That's, my mom wanted to pick my wife. I wouldn't let my mom pick my clothes. You see my mom walking in with this girl? I know she's a little big now, but you'll grow into her. <laughs> and just for the record, folks, I need to let you guys in on a secret. Indian people, we know what we sound like. You know what I mean? We know what the accent sounds like. We don't actually need you <laughs> to remind us, all right? We know it's not a cool accent. You know what I mean? You're never going to see two Indian guys in a club going, Hey man, don't we sound cool? <laughs> we know what it sounds like, but we know the Indian 
accents limitations, you know? We know what it's good for, what it's not good for, you know? It's not good for meeting women, we know that. You know, it's not gonna help you when it comes, hello, baby. <laughs> You're not gonna get any action. But you know what the Indian accent is good for? Cutting tension. You got a tense situation, pop in the Indian accent. Tension's gone. Picture a serious courtroom drama. Your Honor, my client would like to plead 